Hi, writers. Welcome back to writing. We are going to uh, do some more writing on our all about animals today. So if you could get out your, um, if you're in school, you're going to get out your top four animal paper to research. If you're at home, you're just going to get out some plain paper to write on. Um, and these are the things that we are going to research today. So you are going to write these on your table of contents. So even writers at home, you have this book. You're all about dolphins or you're all about monkeys or you're all about bears, whichever animal you chose, get out your book. You've already done the cover page. You've already done the dedication page. Today we're gonna work on the table of contents and our research. Okay, so here's the three things that everybody's going to write about. You're going to write about what your animal looks like. So number one is going to be what your animal looks like. So if you did monkeys, you're going to do what monkeys look like. If you did bears, you're going to do what bears look like. So what your animal looks like would be chapter one. Where your animal lives would be chapter two. And what your animal eats would be chapter three. So I did dolphins, so I wrote what dolphins look like, where dolphins live, what dolphins eat. So go ahead and get your papers out, your table of contents, and you could pause it right here and look at mine, and you would just change dolphins for your animal. So what dolphins look like, where dolphins live, and what dolphins eat. So everybody's chapters are going to be the same, where their animal, what their animal looks like, where their animal lives, and what their animals eat. And then you're going to get out some plain paper, and you're going to do some research and take some notes today. So I want you to go to Pebble Go. Let me make myself a little bit smaller here. Everybody's going to go to Pebble Go. And again, if you need to log on to Pebble Go, it's Mayfield Center, no spaces. Password is school. And then I went up here in my search bar Home. and I went to dolphins. And I typed in dolphins and then my stuff came right up. And you'll see, boys and girls, there's a heading of body. So that's going to be what your animal looks like. Habitat is going to be where your animal lives. Food is going to be what your animal eats. And then I also went to Life Cycle just to look at it and see if they had any more information. And I did the same with Fun Facts. So boys and girls, on your scrap paper or on your paper, paper at school, here's mine. It says what my animal looks like. I went through and I took notes. I read right here. Dolphins are sea mammals. Animals. Most dolphins have bodies that are about 13 feet long. So I put... Oh, 10 feet. I'm sorry. I was like, I think I put 10 feet. 10 feet, three meters long. So in my notes, I jotted down, bodies are about 10 feet long. Then I see here, they move their tail flukes up and down to swim. So I was like, oh, they have a tail fluke. So I wrote that down in my notes. They use two flippers and a dorsal fin to stare, steer. So now I know their bodies have two flippers and I know they have a dorsal fin. So I wrote that down as well. And then boys and girls in fun facts, I learned here that they use their blow holes on top of their heads to breathe. So I put that along with their, what their animal looks like. I added down here on the bottom that they have a blow hole on their heads to breathe. Okay, then I'm gonna flip my page or you're gonna use your notes at home to say where my animal lives, its habitat. So right here it says habitat, go. habitat. So I would click on the habitat. And remember, if you wanted to read to you, you could push this Dolphins button. Dolphins live in all oceans. Salt water keeps their skin soft. Most dolphins swim in warm waters near the equator. Some dolphins can also be found in rivers. Boys and girls, this is funny. When I was listening to this, I noticed here that it says they have soft skin. 
their skin is soft. So I actually went back and added that to what my animals looked like while I was researching. So now that I'm at the habitat, I was like, oh, they swim in warm water near the equator. They swim in salt water. They swim in all oceans. They can be found in rivers. So I jotted all that down on my notes. And I found my information right here. Pebble Dolphins go. live in all oceans. They live in salt water. They swim in warm waters near the equator. They can be found in rivers. These are their habitats. This is where dolphins live. And lastly, I went to food. What my animal eats. And I did the same thing, boys and girls. I read through it. I'm like, dolphins eat fish, squid, and shrimp. They sometimes work together to surround and catch their food. So that means that the dolphins all go together in a group. They surround their food and they catch it. Then I saw here, dolphins grab food with their sharp teeth and then they swallow it whole. So I took that down in my notes. So you're taking down notes like a researcher would do. These again, boys and girls, like our web. This is almost like our web, but it's just a different form of doing research and taking notes. These do not have to be full sentences. These can just be notes. Then I checked out life cycle. A female dolphin gives birth to one calf at a time. Baby dolphins are about four feet long. Mothers help their young to, to the surface to get air. Then I checked out fun facts. They can leap out of the ocean and jump 16 feet high. They use their blowholes. And there's 32 different kinds of dolphins in the ocean. So not too much there about their bodies or their habitats or their food. So boys and girls, today you are just going to research. If you're at home, you're jotting down these notes on a piece of paper. If you're at school, your teacher will give you this packet where you took your notes on and you can do your research and your note taking on this paper, okay? Boys and girls, have lots of fun. I hope you learn wonderful things about your animals today. When you're done, take a picture um, and send it to your teacher on Seesaw.